Lady Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And it's been a curious week here in the Fandom Menace. Now, I don't know if I'm part of the Fandom Menace. I think I am. I agree with the Fandom Menace. But I don't think there's any uh, official stamp to go, Poof, you are now a Fandom Menace. I am just... I, I am just an unaffili uh, unaffiliated YouTuber with a minute audience uh, who basically agrees with the ideals of of the Phantom Menace, and I I watch a lot a uh, lot of their their YouTube channels. Um, but it's been a strangely uh, unifying week when Bob Iger came out and said, "Oh, by the way, George Lucas, you know that guy George Lucas who you really really liked." who we paid a billion dollars or some ridiculous money for Star Wars, which you really, really liked, and you didn't like what we did with it, but you really liked George Lucas. Uh, George, by the way, he agrees with you. Yeah, you, you know, we, you know, Disney, I was going to say, we at Disney, Disney has spent the last few years on a <coughs> propaganda campaign telling us that we're crazy. You're mad. Star Wars is brilliant. Everybody loves it. The only people who don't like it are these weird, racist, sexist people. And they put a lot, a lot of effort into that, into that messaging. Um, <laughs> and so Bob Iger comes out and goes, "Say, oh yeah, yeah, you're not crazy. George Lucas hates it too. So um, maybe he's saying George Lucas is another racist, uh, sexist uh, incel because he doesn't like their Star Wars." But okay, so what is this video about? This video is about what on earth was Bob Iger thinking? You know, or like, why, why would he do that? Why would he hand such a victory to a, such an adversarial group that has cost him, or cost his company, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars? You know, I think, I think the failure of Galaxy's Edge is a reaction from, from the fans going, we, we reject this. You know, we, we, Doomcock, the YouTuber Jim Doomcock, who I don't really agree with that often, but he has a great expression, without respect, we reject. And I agree with that completely, because they don't respect us. Bob Iger doesn't respect us. And um, he doesn't, well, because the thing is, he doesn't understand us. I don't think anybody making movies really understand us, because the people making movies are the denizens of Hollywood, and we are human beings. And they are not very good at being normal human beings, which this this story is uh, evidence of. You know, so people don't ask him what. Yeah, you know, why? Why did he? Why did Bob Iger feel the need to do it? Some people have said this is part of his um, his gearing up for his presidential bid. Uh, you know, honestly, I think if he if he ran if he if he ran on the on the Democratic ticket for twenty twenty um, with like. An extra year of prep. He started like a year or so ago. He 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 could probably have taken it. Yeah, there's no real standout. You know, you're looking for something. I mean, he's a bit male and white, but you know, and old. But I think he could. Uh, he might have done well. Although, again, again, this is a real tangent. If the Democrats had any form of sanity, they would grab onto that Starbucks guy. Was he Schultz? Yeah, he's their candidate. Why? He's the most sane person. In politics right now, he is a, he's like he's saner than Trump, he's saner than Biden and Warren. Yeah, he, he is the sanest person, there. and he's a very and he's left wing and he's um, understands business. Yeah, uh, he, and that's that's the guy they should have gone for, but they're not. But I digress. What is Bob Iger thinking? So this is what Bob Iger think is thinking. Bob Iger is thinking he is fantastic. Bob Iger is thinking he is the greatest thing ever. He is the smartest thing ever, and everybody has a high opinion of him. Um, just as, and the reason he thinks that is because he spends a lot of money surrounding himself with people who say that to him constantly. And everybody in Hollywood surrounds themselves with people saying that they are the greatest thing ever. You know, I remember it was a few years ago at the Oscars, when I still watched the Oscars, it was one of the last years, they were giving um, this Lifetime Award to... Um, Warren Beatty. And you can see in the video that Warren Beatty thinks he is, you know, a couple of notches above or below uh, a messianic figure. He thinks he is the most wonderful person in the world. And the reason that he thinks he is, is because he's surrounded by people who go, you are brilliant. You are, you could do anything. You could do anything you wanted to do. And, um, and, and they just, you know, this, this is what insane privilege makes you. It makes you into an idiot. 
uh, which is what Bob Iger is, because let's face it, <coughs> who can take incredibly profitable franchises uh, and successful franchises like the MCU and Star Wars and and make them make them lose cultural relevance? Yeah, you know, make just just trash them. And like, who else could do that other than an utter idiot? And that utter, utter idiot's name is Bob Iger. <laughs> so Bob Iger, in his insane idiocy and his arrogance, published his idiocy and arrogance, not realizing without the self-awareness that he was being idiotically arrogant. And that is Hollywood in a nutshell. And that is why their movies are not selling. I, I really think this is the uh, this is the end of uh, certainly this this last explosion of of cinema you know, and of uh, great great movie houses. Um, uh, because I don't think people are going to go so much anymore. The the movie industry, the cinema industry, I would say, is was surviving from these blockbusters, and these blockbusters were surviving on the goodwill of the audience, and they've just rejected the goodwill of the audience roundly over the last few years, and they doubled, tripled, quadrupled down. And so, you know, I, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be going to see the Black Widow movie. Um, or, I'm not probably not even going to see Birds of Prey. Um, you know, when you take somebody, uh, a star who has uh, their sex appeal is a intrinsic part, is an intrinsic asset of their persona. And then you say, you are not allowed to do that because that's sexist. We're not allowed to, you know, focus on the male gaze. And then the male gaze goes, yeah, OK, I'm not so interested. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm happy for them to be successful. I really am. It doesn't bother me if they're successful. But I, I just don't think they're going to be. Um, I I don't know. Uh, I'm intrigued to see how how the Rise of Skywalker does. Um, I, it, Rise of Skywalker is the last swing at bat for me to go and see Star Wars in the cinema, a new Star Wars movie. Maybe maybe I know, ten years from now they'll come up with something. They'll re, they'll come up with something that I want to see. I don't know. Anyway, so what was Bob Iger thinking? Bob Iger was thinking I am the greatest thing ever. I and this this insane arrogance. Uh, that's what I think he was thinking. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of you know, the um, the part of me that likes justice would love to see him run for president and have his ass handed to him. Uh, but that's a little bit vindictive. Okay, I know he did destroy Star Wars and the MCU and inject politics into everything that Disney does. Um, but you know, I don't think it's good to be vindictive, even though he has genuinely hurt me and so many other. Millions of people <coughs> with his his idiocy and his arrogance, and there we have it in a nutshell. What was Bob Iger thinking? He's an arrogant idiot, and he doesn't he wasn't thinking anything. My name is Sheila Beckin. Let me know what you think. What was Bob Iger thinking? Uh, and put it in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new video drops.